Here they bring him to life. Cruz Pedregon. The snap on dodge. I think Cruz has been a little bit of a uh, conundrum, I think, this year. Especially after last season. They closed out with a big win in Pomona. And Cruz was like, man, I can't wait to get there. Can't wait to get there next year. I think we finally have everything in place. They want to welcome Joey Robertson here this weekend. He is the Nitro franchisee of the weekend for the folks at Snap On. Of course, John Force over in the right side. We're talking Pete. Antifreeze cooling, NK Seed. The Auto Club, Chevrolet, Cornwall Tools. John currently sitting number nine in the points. That car has had flashes of brilliance, but hasn't had extended periods of brilliance. Yeah, no question about it. John's team, and I mean, really, you trace that back to uh, to Pomona and the issues that they had there, and, and the qualifying incident that they had. And, uh, you know, there have been weekends where they've looked very, very strong, but they get to really put it together all the way. Probably one of the surprises in the sport this year, as good as that car has looked at times, that he has yet to win a race this year. Well, you mentioned Cruz Pedregon, and at some point here, they they got to be kind of banging their head against the wall. I think everybody, when they hired John Collins, thought, all right, this is where Cruz really makes the comeback. At the end of last year, it certainly looked like they were pointed in that direction. And then this year, they've taken one giant step backwards. Good time for our first three-second run of the weekend. Really good time. Great time. Cruz got a happy pipe down there, and John goes 394 at 322 miles an hour. 3.943. Cruz Pedregon goes 404 at 281. Look at the incremental numbers. Cruz was fairly close out in the mid pipe, and then you're going to see over here on the driver's left, right side of the screen, watch one of those cylinders get really hot down there. Cylinder out, then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not happy at that point. It shuts it off a little early. Yeah, probably came from a button push up here on the starting line john college and all the crew chiefs have the ability to shut the cars off from the starting line for safety reasons and they also use that ability to shut it off when it looks like it's going to be an expensive run down to hannah on the starting line with danny hood what what are you going to look at and maybe tweak going into q2 uh tonight's going to be the hero run so we just wanted to make a good a to b and give us a good spot for tonight tomorrow's going to be warm so we're happy with that so what is the goal? Like, what are you doing when it's cooler on day one and then day two of qualifying when it's warmer? What, how do you approach that? I just got to look back in your notes and make your best guess. He mentioned that tonight would probably be the hero session, and if it does warm up tomorrow, I think he's right. The run order for tonight is going to be dictated by performance right now. So the quicker you run here in session number one, farther back in line you're going to be tonight. 